<laughs> so, uh, <laughs> morning. Got to drink your water in the morning. <sighs> so, as you know, I'm reading Greg Palace's book there. You know, you can read it yourself. I mean, you should get it yourself. I didn't mean it like that. They're they not trying to be forceful with you or nothing like that. Wait, wait a minute. Now, I came across this part here early in the book. So, you know, it says, uh, under federal law, if you move within your country, you don't lose your registration. That's your registration of code. But hey, the post office will inadvertently wipe away your right to vote by returning your do not forward ballot. What? All right, let me go back. Let me go back a paragraph here too, like that. It's kind of hard to get a mail-in ballot for uh, for you uh, if you don't get one in the first place. It's kind of hard to mail in your ballot if you don't get one in the first place. Sorry, I misread that. It's early morning. What can I tell you? Direct mail expert Michael, somebody of Chicago, tells me that four to twenty percent of any mailing goes astray, leaving voter rights at risk for more than a million citizens simply from wrong or changed addresses. Let me keep on going. That's why I'm not surprised that the first voting official to call for a switch to all postal balloting, balloting is Ohio Republicans chief, uh, voting chief Frank the ruse, the rose. I know I miss. I must. I I did the real ruse. Uh, oh my goodness! I was a Freudian slip, you know. Um, remember Chicago. So Chicago, this whole area here, because I'm down here in uh in Missouri right now, and there's a lot of French there. So you got a lot of lies running around here. Okay, where was I? At? Okay, from. 2012 to 2016, Ohio swung from Obama to Trump, and LaRue's, I mean LaRose, uh, would like to keep it that way. One secret of the state's flip to red is that LaRose's Republican predecessor, in the month before the 2016 presidential election, simply refused to send absentee ballot application cards to one million, well, over a million people. Now, have you heard that someplace before? Didn't Texas do that this year? Hey, we ain't sending out no notifications. Now, my question is, hey, wait a second. I thought, don't you have people on the rolls? Don't you have the addresses? Can't you just blah, blah, blah? Well, we ain't sending nothing out. The... Those on the absurdly inaccurate, inactive, or movers list, voters lost their rights without notice. Here's the interesting thing that, 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 that about, about the Trumpster, you know, the Trump man. He'll take a very small, inaccurate truth. How can you have an inaccurate truth, brother? Well, it happens sometimes, you know, there are, there are, there are anomalies in the world, right? He'll take a very small truth, right? And twist that sucker up in such a pretzel you don't even you won't even recognize you, you it's unrecognizable, you know. <laughs> you up there trying to figure out what lies in this truth that you get all he'll take one little tiny thing, and then when he goes off on that little tiny thing, so many people will jump down that rabbit hole with him. Well, you know, I'm saying rabbit hole, I just like to say that term. Jump down, jump down that thing that they'll waste. Their economy. Can I say something here? I know you don't like me say this. The Dunf, the, the Drunf man, the Donald, he's an economist of the first class. I'll wait for you to let it sink in. What? what brother, what, 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 what? He's an economist of the first class. Economy is merely how you spend your time. Remember, time is money. How you spend your time? He's got you. He's got you spending all your time running hit nilly dilly hitty witty. He's got you all wrapped into it, all kind of reacting to him. <laughs> so he's got you by the economy, 
And because he does that, you don't have you spend any of your economy, you know, figuring out real stuff to do, stuff to you don't you know. So, I, hey, look, I'm just letting you know I'm being me T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>